Salutations from space and aloha from Earth, friends. It's Gemini Brett. I hope you're doing well. Sunny day in Berkeley. And, um, you know, I'm up to something very similar as to what I was up to in 2006 when Mercury last transited the sun in the sign of Scorpio. What is a Mercury transit? It's basically the mercurial equivalent to a solar eclipse. All right. So let's start with the solar eclipse phenomena because it's something with which most of us are much more familiar. We have a new moon every month, every month, be 29 and a half days, right? And some of these new moons are very special. <laughs> Why? Because the moon's orbital plane is not the same as Earth's, or for Earth's point of view, not the same as Sun. So typically a new moon features the moon from our point of view, either above or below the Sun. So no eclipse for you, right? When the moon and Sun meet near enough to a lunar node, then the moon's shadow is cast onto the Earth, a solar eclipse. And continuing with the astronomy, we know that solar eclipses are not visible from all of the Earth. Even when it's a total solar eclipse, you have to be in a very specific place on Earth to see the sun eclipsed in totality, right? And why? Because you have this huge spotlight, the sun, and a little thing going in front of it, the moon. And so it blocks, casts a shadow just onto a little bit of the screen, the Earth, okay? All right, so we'll get back to the astrology. Let me continue astronomically for a bit. This same thing happens with Mercury. All right, moon comes between Earth and sun every 29 and a half days. Mercury comes between Earth and Sun about every 116 days on average. This is in the middle of Mercury's three-week retrograde period, right? So Hermes, Tris Magistus, thrice great, has three retrogrades a year, and each lasts for about three weeks. It's actually pi. <laughs> retrogrades or pi cycles a year because the average mercury cycle and they vary somewhat significantly is 116 days divide a year by that and you get 3.14 and change there's some other pi magic with mercury which is that he does his thing 22 times in seven years and 22 sevenths is an old fraction estimate for the magical number pi which relates the measurable lines with the immeasurable curves, you see. Anyway, so Mercury, I don't think I have to convince you of Mercury's magic and power. So every 116 days on average, Mercury in the middle of his three-week retrograde period, which is Mercury passing the Earth, aligns between Earth and Sun. But typically, as it is with Moon, from our point of view, Mercury is either above or below the sun. So no Mercury transit for you, all right? However, every now and then, and these things are pretty rare, Mercury will actually transit the sun. So this is when Mercury retrograde conjoins the sun near enough to one of Mercury's nodes. That's right. Just like the moon, Mercury and all planets have nodes too. And the heliocentric nodes of Mercury live in Taurus and Scorpio. So these Mercury transits, retrograde Mercury can join the Sun near enough to one of Mercury's nodes, always happen in the signs of tropical Taurus in May and Scorpio in November. We had a Taurus Mercury transit in May of 2016. We had a Scorpio Mercury transit in November of 2006. Tomorrow, Monday, November 11th, 2019, a Scorpio Mercury transit. And our next will be in the year of 2032. 
13 years from now. Study the Mercury transit timings and Mercury will bring you deep into number magic. Okay, what does it mean? Well, what does a solar eclipse mean? Would you agree that the solar eclipse significantly amplifies new moon energy? I mean, because we have a couple of solar eclipses a year on average, the solar eclipse is like a new moon for six months. Okay? And we make a big deal out of your prenatal solar eclipse in astrology. Hip astrologers do. <laughs> All right? What about your prenatal Mercury transit? Have you looked into that? It's a significant thing. I mean, think about it. The moon cycle is 29 and a half days, so every new moon is a really intense and beautiful time to set seeds. Well, a solar eclipse is like a six-month version of that. Mercury transits about every four months. It's a significant time to set Mercury intentions. And this is Scorpio. Mind, magic, power, expression. Right? Letting the waters flow. Not fixing them. Get into that another time. Let Mercury help you free your mind. And this happens every four months, Mercury aligning between Earth and Sun in some sign. But tomorrow it happens visibly. I really encourage you to look into where in your town there is a local astronomical society or perhaps observatory that's celebrating this thing. It won't be visible for all of us. It is certainly in the United States. I'll be going to Chabot Space Center here in Berkeley, California or Oakland. They're doing a thing 7 to 11 a.m. tomorrow. Because to be able to see this is amazing. Now you can see it with eclipse glasses. Tiny little dot. And Mercury's not going to cast much of a shadow onto the Earth because that spotlight, the sun, remains the same. But Mercury is a much smaller thing casting a shadow onto the screen, which is the Earth, because Mercury is so far away, right? But this is something that's visible. Be careful. I melted literally last time in 2016, I melted the plastic around a telescope lens. Unfortunately, not my eyeball trying to cast this thing onto like a sheet of paper. <laughs> but hadn't used a filter. Actually, I had to filter on the wrong side of the telescope, basically. So I wasn't looking through it anyway, but my eye would have been protected. But it was ignorant. <laughs> we really want to be careful when we're magnifying the bright, you know, energetic of the sun. And let me just say that that's what Mercury is doing. There's this interesting thing about shadow and light from shadow and Oh, uh, we could go on and on. But what I would advise you to do, because I know most of you have really studied and, and felt into and experienced solar eclipse energy, apply that to Mercury transit, but do it in a mercurial way, you see? And just remain open. So tomorrow, eclipse glasses, or if not, just close your eyes, get down with the sun, you know? Let the, let the, the, the screens of your eyelids perform for you and show you visions. And really get down with Mercury, call in the messenger, call in the magician, call in the shapeshifter, see what really wants to change in your life. This is dynamic Scorpio energy, death, rebirth, evolution, aliveness, expression, power, control, you know, things that maybe you thought you could never change in your life, you can. And like that, call in Mercury, call in Hermes and ask for that assistance. You know, show that you are ready for this and you shall be rewarded. I'll see you in that strange speck of darkness that dances across the disk of the sun tomorrow morning, friends. Love and planets to you, especially Mercury. See you in space.